At the third stroke of the hammer on the sickle, the time was exactly 11 a.m. Moscow Standard Time, which is precisely 2 a.m. American Standard Time, proving once again that the glorious Soviet republics are hard at work while the filthy decadent democracies are still fast asleep. This program comes to you by courtesy of the makers of Soviet Krispies, the workers' breakfast food. Just pour the Soviet Krispies onto your plate, add milk, and listen to the cheerful... But first, here is a word from our sponsor. And now for Comrade Housewife's Choice. And here is our first request from Comrade Natasha Belyenkova, a typical Russian housewife, mother of 73 children, heroine of the Soviet Union, and a spare time crane driver. And she would like to hear the Moscow State Philharmonic traditional jazz band playing a tune written by Comrade Hoggy Carmichael and dedicated to one of our greatest Soviet Republic states, Georgia. Unfortunately, we have not got this recording here, so here we have a traditional Russian patriotic song by the famous Russian composer, Comrade Dr. Thomas Arn. Now here is a special announcement of interest to our little comrades. For one week only, the Soviet Krispy Company is giving away absolutely free to the children of Russia, genuine junior secret police rubber truncheon. Yours, comrade kiddies, for only two box tops of Soviet Krispies and the name and address of two suspicious relatives. And now, over to Irkutsk and comrade cheerful Charlie Cheko. <laughs> President Kennedy! <laughs> General de Gaulle! <laughs> Mr. McMillan! Zostradini in the Khrushchev! Mr. Gatesfield! That concludes workers' playtime.